Macquarie Hill is a sustainable farm located in picturesque Harleysville, Pennsylvania. Owners Scott Clemens and Sloan Six purchased the land adjacent to their property and together with their son Skyler entered the world of farming and ranching. It's a family affair where all work together to make the farm run like clockwork. Yes. Yeah. I drive by all the time. The biggest thing that you see in any newsprint, whether it's a trade publication about farming, it, it's it's the family farm. History dictates that. You know, there isn't a farm out there that doesn't have a long lineage of family and, and history to that. The unique thing for Quarry Hill Farm is we are building a farm. It's lambing season at Quarry Hill Farm and part of that process is bringing your ewes in closer so that you can keep a better eye on them um, so that you're not trying to track them down in a large area in a field and then bring them in. So we just moved them in, uh, moved them into this pasture last week. It's uh, January 31st, and uh, definitely not lambing weather. Uh, typically, it's cold and snowy, but uh, we'll we'll take this kind of weather for lambing. This whole experience of lambing uh, is very exciting, and just the rejuvenation of life and seeing that happen, um, and having our our own set of ewes that we brought in as babies. Um, and have them reach maturity. We um, have a philosophy, I guess, in how we treat our animals, um, and that they, we don't really differentiate our farm animals from our pets. And to give them the same kind of love and consideration, um, they do respond. You can see it in their eyes, and you know that you've connected with that animal, you know? that it is not separate and distinct or a commodity. During lambing season, everyone at Quarry Hill Farm is engaged in supporting these ewes as they deliver, making rounds every four hours to see if any of the ewes or newborn lambs need assistance. So they all vary. I mean, some will just drop and be out in the middle of the field and uh, others, you know, need help. So we'll bring them into these jugs, get the mother and the lamb mothered up, and so the lamb gets used to mama, and mama gets used to lamb. Sometimes the birthing process is easy, but the complications of this used birth cause the family to dedicate its whole weekend to the process. Pregnant you looks like triplets, um, starting to labor, and she's showing prolapse, um, which is a vaginal prolapse from the pressure that her body's under and out of room and uh, but makes it a little more difficult for delivery so we'll be on call and watching her tonight to make sure she's going to be okay she may need help doing some pollen she obviously you know that's a sign of giving birth but also it could be a sign of restlessness wanting to get out of a confined pen but the key is for us is to keep her here keep her isolated so that we can help her or if there's any major problems in the prolapse side of things and keeping her calm and not out in a field you know four six something like that uh, ask her how many she wants I mean, it does, I mean we have like a Hang on. We watched her uh, all night twice, once uh, till one o'clock and uh, four thirty, and uh, she didn't birth. Um, you know she's progressing. Uh, we've seen how her um, belly has moved back closer. The uh, other prolapsed mother had three, and um, so she is doing good. She's progressing. Uh, we're estimating about. Uh, tomorrow or tonight, we're estimating she'll give birth. Her water broke uh, probably about you know half hour ago. Um, we've been suspecting all day that she's going to go 
um, visually looking at her udders have swelled up very pronounced in the back end. So here we are, you know, 18 hours later and it's you know, hitting that timing. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Oh. There it goes. She's licking them off and this will be part of the smells so that she knows that that's her baby and they'll start a signal to each other and it's unique to each mother and each lamb uh, what sound to call that they know that that's their mama, that's their baby. Pretty special. It's amazing what the twins do. That Like, where's the bottle of champagne? Here's four, here's four lambs. You know, this is like unheard of. I mean, when we're lambing, I mean, it, I I want to cry. I mean, it's just a beautiful thing. You know, seeing the seeing that lamb's first bath, seeing the lamb opens its eyes. It's just a great joy for me to hear. The joy and the excitement of holding a baby lamb. Um, that I think everybody can connect to, you know, that, that kid quality in all of us that, you know, there's something about, you know, baby lambs, they're, they're so sweet and innocent looking and so tender and um, it just that innocence is, is really precious.